Ladies and gentlemen, Real Deal Neal right here at Aikens Ford in Winder, Georgia. We are your Ford F-450 premier dealership across the country. We're number one in America for Ford F-450 sales. Number eight in America for Ford sales as far as total volume. You gotta check us out, AikensFord.com. But the best kept secret, or used to be the best kept secret, is our Wild Willys custom accessory store as well, where we continue to drop diamond after diamond. Roll that footage. That's how you do an intro, y'all. Rick from Tennessee, they call him BRB. What a phenomenal F450. This may wear the crown. This one right here, I think it's gotta be. It's gotta hold the title. It's on 38s. It's so clean, the black with the nice accents of the brushed aluminum and the milling throughout. It's gotta be. Rick, I told you I was gonna build you the diamond, the king, the almighty. I figured you'd need this because this is yet again another home run. We got Jesse Cat. What's Ron doing? Dude, this Ron. ain't just a home run. The Braves this week clinched their fourth in a row division title for the East. Can they you do believe it? Year it? after year, we doing it truck after truck. Real deal, Neil. Hit it out of the park one after another. There's the pitch. It's gone. Hey, also rocking. The wife told me rock the Griffies today because of 24. We own 24s, the Braves are strong, Rob with Ron and Jesse Cash. Hey, they are side by side. So the biggest thing you'll have to deal with or decide is, do I go right to Ron's office or left to Jesse? They're both gonna take care of you. Just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Boom. Hey, oh, 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 go Braves. Let's get it. We love our swag. Ron, what kind of socks do we have on Georgia, dogs, on Georgia Saturday? We we're got rocking, rocking the Georgia, Georgia, Arkansas. Dogs are big, the hogs. big game. A little bacon today. Bacon you, bacon today. He had, a, had your biscuit. Yeah, had mm. biscuit. Got sausage biscuit. burritos. Mm. Ham today, boys. Let's get it. So again, Rick from Tennessee. What a great guy. They call him BRB. Been great to deal with in the, in the process. Recently moved over to Tennessee from the West Coast and said, "Real deal. Let's do it big." We are on a Kelderman five six air ride suspension. That's the foundation that starts this thing off as one of the baddest trucks on the road. Secondly, we have 20, 24 inch American Force, black and milled, pulse wheels. This wheel really started it all for us on that rapid red truck. And we've used this wheel a lot. And it's kind of like the Fuel Rebel. Why go away from it if it's one of the best looking wheels out there? So 24s, we decided most of these Kelderman kits you see on the road have 37. So we wanted to, you know what I'm saying. Run something bigger, next level. So we got 38, 13, 50, 24, Nitto Ridge Grapper, that hybrid tire that looks so great, but gives you overall good mileage, and quiet ride, and a smooth ride also. Check out the Kelderman components. We have a full replacement of your coil spring up front, as well as the rear leaf pack, and you've got Firestone airbags, Raptor shocks, dual steering stabilizer up front. And this started out as a platinum, F450, so the whole front grille was chrome. Obviously you had your, your blue and chrome emblem. You had chrome tow hooks, a long pesky valence that hung down way too long. So we took the valence, trimmed it up like a trimmer, removed the texture, did body color, and we like to accent. This is not a midnight, but we did some similarities in our midnights in that we did away with all the chrome, but accented it with some silver. So our tow hooks are silver, and the script on the Ford is silver also. We didn't want any chrome to still show or pop, we wanted to have a, a nice subdued premium look 
overall accenting the milling in the wheel and just tying it all together to where it's not completely blacked out like a midnight but a true custom i personally like this almost better than any of them we've ever done because it's so classy tell me it's not classy come over here clay and show them just look at this truck it, it is so elegant so tastefully done in my opinion please let me know if you if you agree with that also in the headlights these were completely chrome we did away with all the chrome and did a blackout package there throughout remove the amber also just a so tasteful so money set up um, and then we got rock lights of course rock lights throughout we've got two under each wheel well just kicking it with uh, all that light illuminating through this side badge here was uh chrome with a texture behind that with chrome on your f450 we did black throughout with the silver accent even did silver on the platinum these mirrors too are so not premium when they have all that texture uh, black throughout the chrome caps we did a true blackout throughout recon lights on the side that are removed that amber and did the the white clear that just looks so premium um, just an elegant truck y'all these side door handles were chrome as well so we did black on these bad boys uh, you got chrome on this upper portion and on your power board we wrap those in black we like to wrap those components because we feel that's the best way to do that particular component so we just it's all about the details y'all all about the details so secondly what do you think about the griffies we haven't talked about the griffies enough the griffy ones the original like i had these when i was like nine years old in, in molded cleats you know and then i had them when i was 12 on the all-star team in the white and i was all about taking i wanted to i wasn't worried about i was pitching that game it was a huge game against athens little league huge game and i was most concerned about how to get my shoes painted red to match my outfit because they were white and black i wanted to be red and black so i got a sharpie and painted those bad boys and we won the game five innings you heard me out, out back y'all look at the big deep lip on the american force pulse you got a 12 inch lip on 38s i can't reiterate enough we're on 38s and 24s okay somebody somebody throw me a fastball come on i need a fastball i, mean, I like middle end okay we just we just smashing we're smashing all day out here y'all okay so look old hickory out back here we've got a custom third brake light we got the pace edwards bed locker power bed cover that's a must again changing the game with our taillight action and it's legal that's very important to us being part of a dealership so we did a true border perimeter and blacked out only the blind spot monitor portion so to me it looks more elegant I know Clay agrees as well. It just looks so much more elegant where you have these portions still showing with black all the way around, a true game changer. Out back, you know we love those booties, y'all. So we removed the texture on this upper portion here, black the tailgate, and then the platinum Super Duty, kept the brushed aluminum there. So clean, y'all. So clean and classy. We're not overdone with this truck at all. We can go seam abound with a truck and really throw a lot of paint match to it. But this truck right here to me is just so tasteful, so premium and elegant in that it just, it screams bad to the bone, y'all. Gonna be in Tennessee, gotta love that. Out back with the rigid SRQ bumper lights and uh, Caleb did this build. He hooked us up with a airline right here too. Just a, another thing we like to add this detail oriented. Uh, so if you ever have a need for some air, you got onboard air right there, ready to roll all the time. So speaking of that, uh, Caleb has been our go-to guy for our Kelderman builds. He completed this one. Uh, and then Jonathan did the white reserve edition. They went to Ernesto also. So we've got a great staff at our shop across the road that can really, really make things happen and do some special bills like we keep rolling out on a consistent. Same thing on the, the rear emblem, made it match the front. Gotta love that. Now let's take a look under here, Clay. We've got the Mag High Tech front and rear diff cover. And there you can see the all of your brains as far as your compressors. And there's your, your rear horn out back also. Now, right now, we're at the lowest setting available. We're down all the way as low as it'll go. And this thing goes up to the five, six inch height. That's your overall optimal ride quality. And it also will go up total of 10 inches. So the adjustability of the Kelderman with how, how, the, how good it rides in combination with the towing capability still, it's, it's legit. It's the best way to do it. Now, a lot of people may say any level lift. Well, any level lift is a premier, even more expensive lift that adjusts faster but it's a hydraulic system i still believe y'all that the kelderman is the premier ride quality that's why we roll with it we got mbrp 
DPF back exhaust with a black tip out back as well. And let's show them that mild to wild scale. Let's show them what we're working with right here. So the Dooley with adapter from American Force, you know, it, it's a pretty aggressive stance. We're five, six inches out, out there. Um, but let's t take a step back and just look at how substantial the truck is anyway. When you're on 38s and aftermarket wheels, I mean, that's just an incredible overall stance. I mean, going down the road, there is no, there's no way you're gonna miss this bad boy. It's just, just an incredible overall appeal to it. Also, powder coated the calipers, black to match as well, just truly took care of every item. So on the radius arms from Kelderman, they have a nice Kelderman label there and then a K up front. We have something special in store for Rick very, very soon. We love to hit it home right in the heart with the customer on something that truly means something to them and special. So stay tuned for that. Now on the inside, the Platinum has all the creature comforts you could ask for. We even painted this side. The, the thing that stands out to me is the, the least premium part of the interior is this is like a, a textured gray that just does not look good. So we did body color on that. And then you can see we have a base knob. What could that be? That could be back here in the back, y'all. We have what makes this so legit is we have a, a, a dual 10 inch subwoofer setup with Rockford uh, amplifiers. We replaced all the door speakers as well. Y'all, we shelled out a, a pretty penny for this sound system. We like to incorporate and keep the B&O audio when possible, but on this particular build, we said we want to gut that complete system and put components that are even better. So this truly is, Rick, I told you, it's gonna be with the crown. So you have the crown with this bad boy because inside now you have all the components that is the baddest we've ever done. So now jumping in, I wanna show you guys, we also have a forward facing uh, camera that, that can be that re record your drive anytime there also. And here is your uh, device, your airlift system for raising and lowering. So right now we're at, at the lowest setting. We hit the middle button twice. And we're up to ride height there. You feel that go up. And then twice again on the top button and we're all the way elevated. So let's hop out and check that out. So we showed you guys the rock lights earlier. They have a strobe function. And also up front, we incorporated the behind the grill strobes just to set it off completely a true game changer amazing mag high tech front diff cover with the dual raptor shocks up front we have to show you guys under the hood more often because the 6.7 liter power stroke diesel almost 500 horsepower 1050 pound feet of torque we throw an smb cold air intake on there just to help the overall efficiency and flow in combination with the mbrp out back this truck will do anything and everything you can imagine. So this is Ralph. Ralph was a salesman that was involved with this. And Ralph is great. I love Ralph so much because he loves to get involved and help make things happen. He took this to get the ceramic coat done and was a part of this build just as much as our guys up at our install shop. And Ralph is always there to help me with anything I need on the sales side and accessory side. So hit Ralph up for all of your vehicle needs as well, y'all. So the F450 for Rick, BRB from Tennessee. Man, I can't wait to meet you coming up here next week. I know you're gonna love this truck and I know that we're gonna do more great stuff to come together. Y'all, thanks so much for watching. Let me know. We'll put some more cards up top, some of, some of our previous F450s. I need to know, does this wear the crown? I think it does. There's some that's out there that are special to me, like Kevin and Tina's. There's so many. Um, People at Rob Greeby from Arizona. There are so many. We got, we got, God, we have so many, y'all. There's so many 450s out there that's, that's true, true to home to me that means everything. So each build is truly special. And I just love adding to the collection and adding to the memories as we go along. So thanks so much for watching another F450 Reserve. You know how we do it. Peace.